up is a Norden uh, kitchen table. It's it's usually is a kitchen table. This is going into a studio apartment. It's got a lot of drawers to it. Uh, pretty complex little booker, actually. It's made out of real wood, and it's one of the more complex of the IKEA real wood things. But it's also kind of one of their flagship items <coughs> as far as their studio kitchen stuff goes. So the Norden folding table system, and we'll start this right away. Normally in this kind of construction, I really like to get the drawers out of the way so I can get some of the boxing and packaging out of the way on this. Because of the constricted space I'm going to work in, I'm going to do this more or less according to the instructions. Um, part of what we've got to deal with is this really complex hinge mechanism on these things, but fortunately, uh, the sub-assemblies come already assembled, so you're not having to do a whole lot of hinge alignment on this. Um, and what that's going to allow us to do is get the basic structure of the table together so that when we do the drawers last, we can actually have a table set up that we can do some of the work on. So, on to the next step. We pretty quickly mock up how this, this sets up, it, it, you know, the double opening thing. Uh, these set up opposite of each other. If you set them up right side up, it, it pretty much can't go wrong, okay? You're going to get a couple of these little uh, brace pieces that go in the bottom. Uh, we preset pegs in those. Not very many pegs in the kit, so as you probably want to break these open on a, on a shelf somewhere and get these little things set up. Uh, the other thing that's going to get a little tricky is that we're going to be using these. Now, they'll give you the little tool, and this isn't something, something you may not want to use the power tool on. You may just want to use the hand tool in setting these together, but get an idea how these are going to go. Uh, these are going to go inside of these, and that little cross slot, when that's all put together, some people may think that's a screwdriver slot. All that's there for is to make sure that you've got a straight slot when you feed this through. So as we put these in, that's, that's basically all we're doing is making sure that when we put that additional one in, it's, it's got a straight slot that it's going to start threading into. And we're going to do that on two of these, the other one's down there. We set up the bottom uh, first, the little metal cross base that's going to go on the top. You'll see that in a second here. Okay, so basically you've got three tabletops, two wides and a narrow. The two wides attach, there's pre-drilled holes for the hinges, uh, pre-drilled holes all here. This metal framework had a metal uh, top that all attaches with these kind of a wide Phillips head um, screw bolt. It goes into the pre-threaded holes. It's, it's a tight fit sometimes because of the way they made this, but once it goes in, this becomes a pretty solid piece of furniture. Once, once all these little uh, buckles and turnbuckles and things are in, it's pretty solid at this point. And then you can see how the folding mechanism works. Is sometimes when you're lifting the wings of the table up, you have to get it up a little higher in order to clear the uh, pegs because that, that can be a little tricky. And you, you've got to be able to clear those pegs before you do the folding. So that's, that's one of the things to look at. Because once this is all screwed down, it actually becomes pretty solid. You just got to make sure not to improvise anything and not have it where it's not going to come down easy and flush when you do fold the sides over. One of the things to understand on this is there's a little fudge factor slot on those reinforcement bars, but the center is the center. So when you put these in, you want to get that center screw first before anything else goes. Once we flip this thing back around, you're going to notice that compared to the box that it comes in, um, this thing fully assembled isn't any bulkier really much than the box it came in. And next we're going to put the drawers together, but they're all basically the same. Now the cool thing is, I'm going to unfold this, and when I set it up, I've got the camera in one hand, then I'm going to have a table to do the rest of the work on. And these are really good, solid... I mean, it's a kitchen table, it can be used as a workbench, it's a pretty good utility table. And uh, again, we're in the middle of the Norden folding table kit from Ikea. The table set up, it's, it's a pretty good sized table. We, we just checked our receipts, it's, it's a little over 200 bucks for the table. And I would say if I were to custom build a table, especially with all these pieces, 
Uh, I, I would barely be into the wood for that much. And this, this is all real wood, none of that particle board. A little bit of furniture grade plywood, but pretty good. Now these drawers are small, but very utilitarian. Kind of hard to tell, but there is a little bit of a glossy side on the drawer bottom. The, the drawer bottom is a structural part, and of course we're going to use these. You could use a hammer or a rubber mallet on this. Uh, for expediency's sake, I'm going to be using just the, the back of the drill. Uh, I can whack it with that. It's rubber, it's, it's going to work fine. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to look at these slots, uh, which are actually for the drawer rails. And you may want to wax these at some point, uh, but when it's new, it's going to work pretty smoothly. So we simply we set these up here. Uh, we're going to put these little one-way things in. We put them in kind of like nails, but remember they're plastic, so we're not whacking anything majorly hard. We're just kind of pressing it in. Now, if we're on a table service like this, we want it to do any of our little hammering whacking on a supported part. So over here instead of here, I'm just setting this up here for the camera. And uh, once we do one drawer, you know, it, it's just a matter of doing all six at about ten minutes each. Pretty straightforward stuff. I think a teenager could build this. And these, I, I said 10 minutes really briefly, just because that's the average for an IKEA drawer. But for these, it's considerably less than that because they're a lot simpler with construction. One thing, though, when we're just kind of whacking these things down, uh, we want to be able to support it and so that the head of the plastic nail on the other end doesn't go during your table. We set another piece of wood down here just to help absorb that blow. And I kind of firm it up with one hand while hammering it down with the other. And remember, kind of look at your alignment on everything. Look at your alignment on the bottom piece because it's the grooves that hold it together so that you're, you are you don't have to try to take it back apart. Because getting it back apart is it's kind of a one-way street once it goes together. If it's loose or you need to get it back apart and put it back together, it's not the end of the world. You just end up putting the screws, screws or nails in here. And most of the time you need to avoid combining a, a small nail gun with IKEA furniture, but on this, if you were to put a hit a couple of nails in with a nail gun along these edges, you'd be still just fine. It's it's real wood, there's no particle board involved in this. So a nail gun on this you could you could do. One drawer finished. Now remember the drawer slides are just built right into it. Um, you want to firm it up, you know, make sure everything's fine. But if it, it's the shape of it that holds it together along with those plastic dowels. You may want to flip it back over, whack it one or two more times. The way those are barbed, they're they're basically a one-way street. So the way this thing takes six drawers is three on one side, three on the other. Now when you pull them out, you gotta make sure they don't come all the way out. But because that's a full-length rail, they're not likely to fall out, even though they're it might be out most of the way. So, and and it's a really good look when it's all said and done. And there we are, fully assembled and put together. And it's actually it's it's not a tiny table. So once once it's unfolded and everything, it's pretty good to go. It takes a little bit of muscle and dexterity to fold and unfold the table, but when it's made small, it doesn't take up a lot of space. So this is a really good studio apartment type table and what some people will do is they'll just leave half of it open most of the time and uh, and then when we extend it we'll use the rest of the table so the drawers of course is three drawers per side and if you put it up against the wall one of the things we just figured out is that putting it up against the wall could mean you won't have access to the other drawers but you still have that as usable storage space the other thing to be very careful about 